Alright, so hello everyone. So today I want to show to you guys how to make a brownies look like I showed you guys a uh, previous video. So here is the tutorial that I will serve um, exclusively for you guys. So the first one I will put my uh, contact lens. So it will be more dramatically. So next. The first thing I use that I see in the previous video is I'm wearing an argon oil from Al Al Baridon Enterprise. So anything that you seems like it's an argon oil is good for you, but this one I really recommend recommend it to you guys. It's really good. It's really like put around my face just like that and only, only use my finger because it's more easy to absorb in my face it will make your skin look more moisture, more hydrating and it look more nice and if you have an oily skin do not put too much of oil okay so it will be more oily if combination also like me i'm combination skin but not too much of like oily usually oily in this area Next, I will use my Good Virtues and Co. The day cream. I love this because they have a sunscreen inside it, and as well as um, moisturizers. So it very suits for me. So usually I just use this one. Just dot around your face. Yes, seems like why it's too much. It's it's not too much because you need to absorb all the goodness of the moisturizers to your face. So and then you just use your hand. As as for the prepping prepping section, I just use my finger to absorb all the goodness in my face. It will make your face more, more glowing. Some of us love to have like matte textures in their face, but me, I love the glowingness in my face. So like, people will see my face are healthy and beautiful. And I'll massage it a little bit. So make it as up in my face, especially in my eyebrow, my crease. So sorry, I have like pimples in here, but it's okay. It doesn't block anything. All right. After that, let it like sit for a while to let them absorb in my skin. Next, I will take my foundation that I said to you guys before this. I love to use this Revlon. So, let us palm one, two, half, two and a half palms of foundation. Up. And I am the one that don't fans of concealer, so I will use it more towards my under eye because I do have like eye bags and whatnot, so 
I would prefer really like focus more on my under eye section and I just use the sponge this sponge you can find it uh, uh, in Daiso or any drugstore product that serve this kind of sponge so just like dab I using that method because if you scratch it it will be not be nice and it will be more cracky in your face and then including your eye don't worry it will be look pale but after you put like powder and whatnot it will be more nice okay Excuse my As you can see the foundation the, the prepping section make our face more glowy right more glow I love glow so people will see my face shiny right I will dab it. So, after this, I will wear my powder, compact powder. So, as I mentioned, I use the powder of uh, Chanel. Alright. It's like so misplaced all over the things, like put in the different package put in the different boxes so it will be hard to find it so I will blend it more to prevent the crackiness okay right. it looks so so flawless already alright then Next, I will take a powder. So, I will use a powder brush. Use my powder brush. This is my foundation brush. Allah, what was They already got mad with me. It's too long. I'm taking too long to make my makeup. So, sorry guys. I'm taking too long to make my makeup. So, phone angry with me right so next I will use this Chanel compact powder in the coat of the tea beach please stand still and then I just swirl it and or dab it into my face so that everything will be locked inside It will really lock my face with the goodness and the richness of the moisturizer and all the things that I need to fit my skin better. Okay, then. So after this, after I put my powder, I will put my bronzer. So for the bronzer, like I said to you guys earlier, I love to use this Fusion Formula bronzer. So I just bronze here, forehead, 
a little bit in my jawline. easy to see in here because they have a differentiation because they have exposure in camera but in mirror they do not have any exposure so I will see more better so next I will use the other bronzer to bronze my face which is from Benefit this palette so oh, I will use this color to bronze my face to bronzy bronzy Right, bronzy, bronzy. You are pigmented. Love it, love it, love it. It's not too grey in my face. It's really nice. For blending it in, it's very, very nice. It's not, uh, it's not being grey. When I put it in my face, it stays the color. So brownie. brown you guys it's a really brown and then pick it up and do some shading in here shit 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 nice it's looking more nicer and then I will use this blusher mixed with this one to make my blush more mix the color star and the hula get out the excess and then blush 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 look more natural than before this because I don't use the tin to make my blush I just use a normal blusher to make it more soften neutralize and more soften right I love more softer if we got a more softer blusher, it more like more natural texture in our face, so it will be more beautiful. And then I would love to put a little bit in my nose, so that it will be. So last but not least, I will use highlighter from this palette. It's called Rock Rock Cure Rock Cure. This one, the N one, and I take it with my hand, just a little bit, and brush it. Then I will put a little bit of tin to make it more pop and glowy. Next, I will. Take the tin, a little bit of tin, to make it more pop. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, to make it pop like, really pop like the color. If it's too red, it's not nice for you. It's not nice for you, so it will be. Just minimal red. Just minimal red. Okay. Then. So moving to my eye section for highlighter, I will use again later. Okay. 
for um, eye shade, I will move up to my eyebrow first. Eyebrow for eyebrow, I do not. I actually do not know how to do an eyebrow, so I just use brow mascara to make my uh, brow more fluffy, more nice, more beautiful. I just brush it up. Just brush, 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 brush. And then I take this pulley and just brush it up. Just brush it up. Alright, and then for eyes, I take them mice, mace, mess. I don't know how to pronounce it. This one, I will take this shape I just use one color in my eye just one color like to make it more soft and more natural I don't use many colors so like it's a normal color and I will pick the softest color here to make my highlight my highlight in here also and that's why not this in here and little bit in here then and then I'll take my highlighter line it line my liner 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 I love this kind of eyeliner because it's easy to open and just make a little bit wing out see it's done Let it um, dry a little bit and give up your eyes and all like that. And then some mascara. And to top it up for my lipsticks, I will use this dark lipstick in the shade of honey. Oh, honey, I love you. I love you so much. What am I talking? And here we go. So I will come back with my scarf and we'll be back later. 
Okay guys, so this is the final look uh, that we got for today's makeup tutorial. So I hope you do enjoy my videos. And please do like, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And please turn on your bell notification to notify when I post a video. So, see you later guys. Bye!